So the name of the company is Idaptic, and we have a device. It's called augmented reality. So I think most people are familiar with virtual reality. Yeah. And that's sort of where you enclose your whole field mm -hmm. of view into a screen. Now, augmented reality, we don't want to close people off because their peripheral vision is perfect. Right. So we want to just change the central vision. And so what we do here is, and on the screen we have a simulated yeah. view of kind of what we see, is we try to take the central vision and selectively magnify what's important. And we can do that automatically. So if you're looking at text, the device will actually recognize text and magnify it to your preferred size text, no matter what you're looking at. And then if you look away, it will automatically zoom out and you can wow. find your context again. So, um, but if you'll notice on, also on the, on the screen mm -hmm. is that it blends with the outside. So if you, you, when you get to the end of the line, you have your visual cues to follow that okay. back to the next line, and and uh, and we've and it really keeps your your your, um, your, your scope and your, and your peripheral. So you developed these. You spent I remember you telling me about this. So it took some time to come up with this. Yes, and we've done our clinical trials, our initial clinical trials, and we've been able to <coughs> show that yeah, that it really enhances reading speed from, mm -hmm. by about five times, and it can improve acuity or effective visual acuity by 100%. Wow. Um, and, uh, and of course, it depends on the type and the, and the, the specific subtype of, uh, of um, macular degeneration that uh, somebody develops, mm -hmm. and it also depends on the level of vision. So, you know, we try to get the brain to adapt to a new way of seeing. So you, the earlier you start, really, as it progresses further, the brain's already well adjusted to, uh, yeah. to using them and the technology by the time it gets to the point where you're really pretty uh, impaired. So that, in a sense, what happens here, your brain is adjusting. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah. Now, we, when we look at these in the front, you're not really look. Are you, are, are you even looking out of these the central Front. optics, yeah. yeah. No, there's actually two screens that okay. are mounted right behind that. All right, I'm going to let you yeah. handle that because that's sure. <laughs> I want to drop that. Yeah, there are actually two screens that okay. are mounted right behind each of these okay. central lenses, and there's a camera that's right in front. Okay. And there's a computer. It's a basically a smartphone computer that processes mm -hmm. all the images and right. and allows you to do it. But we, the goal is to make this hands free, so there's yeah. no button pushing. You, you know, you don't have to worry about futzing with any sort of right. You don't need a smart design to no, pair with it. You okay. put it on and that it should be ready to go. Wow. So once we get it all tuned to you and once your brain's able to adapt to it, yeah, we really see a, a significant improvement. Wow. For a lot of people, about 80% of people who, who use it show a significant improvement in their uh, reading ability. Go through directly to the website uh, for idaptic, idaptic.com, okay. Okay. and uh, and send them an email, and, and we're more than happy to, to get you suited up. The augmented reality technology is just going to get better and better, and we're able to adapt with the changing technology. So as the devices get better, we can get better. Um, so the, the, the sky is the limit, really, for us. Yeah, yeah, I think it is, too.